Hello everybody. So this video I'm making as while my the conversation is still clear in my head as speaking to the owner of Club Getaway. First, let me tell you about what Club Getaway is. It's actually a pretty fun summer camp for adults uh, that's in um, Connecticut. I was there a couple years back. There was a balloon ride, which is not available at this moment because the owner is not there anymore the, of the balloon. But uh, all the other amenities were supposed to be there. So now we're actually facing a very um, unknown territory uh, with regards to reopening America back up with the businesses. So this business owner decided that uh, apparently it's not a law, apparently it's not a mandate to uh, require all the people that's coming into the uh, camp at the, at least at the moment of this June 8th that anybody that's coming to the camp that they're required to do a COVID test and I told him uh, what happens if uh, it's a false positive he says that it's about 89% accurate r rating so I'm like okay what if you were the 11% or what if for some other reason that you know the COVID situation that the test finds you, would you give the refund? So apparently he said he would, but then I brought up the conversation where if there's a bus, let's say there's 50 people on there, would he give a refund? Apparently he said, he, yes, he would too. But then I was like, hey, you know, at the airport, I have the right to opt out. So for example, when there's the body scanner, I have the right not to have my body x-rayed in order to go fly on an airplane because I live in a free country. So, Long story short, I told him that he, I'm more than happy to book um, a stay for two adults over the July 4th weekend. If I could opt out of the COVID test, he says he has to speak to his lawyer about it. Um, I, get, I guess that, that's what it is. My question becomes like this, guys. This should be open to public discussion. Whether businesses could force you to do a COVID test in order to enjoy them. And I told them that, you know, giving up liberty for a little bit of security, you wind up getting neither. So the situation becomes, hey, w what if in the future, as part of the plan that it could be, that there's uh, a proof that you, you got some sort of COVID vaccine or some other vaccine in order to do traveling, in order to have a job and things like this. And that it's a slippery slope in order to opt in like this. So apparently right now at this point in time, I don't have the option to opt in. And I don't have the ability to uh, book for the weekend. They had spots, so it's not that they didn't have spots, that they're operating at 50% capacity and that all the indoor areas, they're gonna have people wearing a mask. So outdoors and inside your cabin, it's okay. You don't have to uh, wear a mask, that's fine. He says that it's about making people feel safe and secure, right? But, but, but the point that I brought up to David, the owner of the company, was that people that come to the summer camp, uh, they're, you know, doing activities like biking. They could fall off the bike, scrape their knee. Like anything could happen. They could get caught in the thunderstorm and, you know, and catch a flu, you know. Uh, anything could happen. So that the actual contention of the public that would be willing to visit a camp where, you know, people are playing sports, people are swimming, people, people are biking. There's so much fun stuff to do there. That's, that's why I wanted to do it over the July 4th weekend. And also, it's like a three-day weekend type of deal. So to me, it sounded really good. So all I could say is that um, I think the owner of the company is a really good guy. I, I, uh, he's going to be speaking to his lawyer about it. But I told him that this is a totalitarian tiptoe that, you know, if I had the option to opt out, I'd be more than happy to do it. And then my friend would be more than happy to do the, you know, COVID test because he believes in the stuff. So my point is this, is that if we wind up actually um, opting in and doing the test in order to have a little summer camp fun, to, uh, to uh, swim in a lake a little bit, I'd rather not, not, not opt into that. He says that it's supposed to be a safe environment, but 
the whole idea of uh, you know having a cotton swab or whatever however the test I think the cotton swab goes for, like deep inside your nose or something so I said it's my body my choice I have the right not to you know have somebody stick a foreign object into my body you know like that's some people could consider that rape you know if, if some guy a random guy on the street wound up uh, is trying to stick a cotton swab in my ear or nose or any other orifice you could consider that as an assault or things like this but you know apparently like if we put up with this now what's going to happen in the future so towards the end of the conversation um i was like hey i run a blog izreviews.com i'm gonna make a report about it he said i don't i didn't, I didn't know that, I, that you were a reporter so i'm like would you have said anything different if you knew the information he said no okay fantastic so this is my report about it. We should have the discussion. Can businesses force you to undertake a medical procedure, testing you for a certain virus or not testing you? I mean, I'd love to hear your opinion about it, guys. But I think we have the right, you know, okay, the constitution, I, I'm vaguely believing it applies. It becomes kind of like a situation where a lot of people are saying it doesn't apply because the government doesn't hold itself accountable to it. But apparently that there's a thing called the Bill of Rights and the Fourth Amendment allows you to be in safety in your possession of things. That you, can, you don't have to have unreasonable searches and seizures. So, um, and then at the same time, you can't go to church, but then uh, anybody that's protesting, you know, a police brutality or whatever right now with the George Floyd stuff is allowed to uh, tens of thousands of people. Meanwhile, this uh, business is crippled having to open it at half capacity, which is kind of like uh, interesting. It's like, who came up with this arbitrary thing? Who said that somebody is essential and somebody is not essential? So that's my situation. I wanted to get away for the July 4th weekend. I'm going to think of other plans, maybe an Airbnb, uh, something, maybe other private thing. It would have been fun actually to do it. But um, I mean, I'm not willing to give up my rights. I'm not willing to sacrifice my liberty for security. Because I know I will get neither, Benjamin Franklin. At the same time, is that there are thousands of people, hundreds of thousands, there are Americans that fought wars in order to protect these rights. That at least they thought that they were, you know, uh, army people, you know, all these people swear to uphold the Constitution from enemies foreign and domestic. So I can't believe in the freedom that America, the idea is. At the same time, give up my liberties. Just for like what? Oh, I, so I could have a fun summer camp experience? Well, we'll live in my memories, you know? Uh, I will put an update, a link to the video, and I will put an update to the link. So in case in the future he does decide to change his mind and say like, you know what, it's your choice. I will allow customers to opt out of medical procedures, uh, of being tested. I also said this is kind of like, I'm like, who is this company? Do I know this private company? A lot of these private companies uh, have been known to violate people's rights. They create databases. What kind of database would you be put on? I don't know. And apparently that's the end goal, the end plan, is to actually have some sort of database of passports with you know, vaccination, with proof of vaccination in order to get a job, in order to travel and all these other things. So I will not support that. I will stand on this, I will stand on my rights as a free human being. I don't care about the constitution, but the rights are inherent. The constitution enshrined those rights. And plus, you can't, you can't even mention the, the, the constitution and things in, in, in the courts anyway. They don't care about it. It's an opinion to them. Uh, they shredded it a long time ago, but it, as long as it lives in here, that we remember there were free human beings to express the life the life, liberty, and, and property rights, the, the right to express ourselves, to pr protect ourselves, to be safe in our, in our, in our beings and possessions, uh, to the right not to incriminate ourselves. Uh, there's just so many amazing things. And to just throw it down the drain, it ain't worth it. I'm going to create a different summer vacation plan. I'm going to make one the best ever. Heck, if, it's, if it stays with me being home playing video games, at least it was my choice. I chose it. What choice will you make? I want to hear your comments below, guys.
let's have a discussion about this and uh, protect the freedoms we still do have and we've always had. But if we don't uh, exercise them, we, we lose them. All right, my friends. I'll see you soon. Bye.